If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about series that I need to finish. Uh, it's a recurring theme for me. I feel like before I started booktube, I read series back to back, so I never had that issue. And then I started and would just never, and I mean never finish series. And I feel like this year I've been doing pretty good. I think I finished like five or six or like, or caught up and I'm now like up to date with the newest release. But uh, I still have... <laughs> 12 series right now that I can think of that I really need to finish. So let's talk about them. Some of them, I'll admit, I'm a little hesitant. So uh, let, definitely let me know uh, if I should just skip it or definitely finish it. Which reminds me of one more that I forgot. Let's talk about one of the ones I'm the most excited about. The Stormlight Archive by Brendan Sanderson. I finally read the first book, which is The Way of Kings, and I adored it, gave it five stars. But uh, this month, it wasn't my TBR, and I don't think I'm gonna have time for it in September. No. No, wow, the French is coming out uh, either. So in October, or uh, you know what? My goal this year is to read the second one. There you go. I need to start catching up because the fourth book is coming out this fall and I just need to enjoy this amazing adult fantasy series. And so far, again, I'm really enjoying it, so no excuses, but I don't want this to be another book series that I never finish. So let's do this. Uh, let's do one more by Brendan Sanderson. This one, I'm a little... You'll get it. Uh, Steelheart, which is a Y sci-fi by him. I, that's literally the reason I was hesitating about reading uh, Skyward by him because I was like, oof, his Y sci-fi wasn't up to uh, my taste, so I was kind of hesitant. But I really, really love that one, so I think it's just this one that is an issue. I read the first book. I read the first uh, the novella between book one and two. Never continued for a few reasons. First off, the main male character is a teenager and he's I cannot stand him I, I just can't the love well more like he has a love interest so cringy cannot deal uh, I hated all the swear words I believe there are like three different ones and they're repeated non-stop and I cannot stand them uh but let me tell you what it is about because I don't feel like I hear a lot of people talk about this one if you enjoy superhero you need to basically in this dystopian world um something happens that makes people develop some people develop superpowers but instead of being like superheroes they become mostly super villains and you know they're just fighting and destroying everyone and everything and yeah stuff happens I just need to continue because I know I will at least enjoy uh the magical system and uh, the world and most likely the endings is forte but yes th that character whoo painful so I do want to continue but I haven't in pff, pff, like three four years since I read this one because it was really painful to read but yes eventually I will finish it I want to <laughs> doesn't sound like it but I do just to make fun of myself I will quickly quickly mention these two uh, Children of Time. There's a second one, Children of Ruin, which is on my TBR this month. It's happening this month. Everyone has been making fun of me because it's been on my TBR for over a year and I have yet to read it, but it's happening this month. Okay, it will. So yes, I'm definitely <laughs> wanting to continue the series and I will finish it, damn it. But this is amazing uh, adult sci-fi with First Contact with Aliens. I've raved about it a lot. It is in one of my best books of, I think, is it 2018, 19? Loved it. And I know a lot of you d did too. And I'm realizing, Every other series, I grabbed the first one except this one. <laughs> Putting pressure on myself. Uh, this is the last book in the East Side series by Neil Schusterman. Um, The Toll. It's been, once again, on my TBR for absolutely ever. I think I'm scared because it's big, but it will happen. I do enjoy it. It is a YA sci-fi dystopian. Although it seems to be a utopian world, uh, people don't die anymore, so they have to have people that are you know, the sites and they kill people to control the population, but you know, a lot of political intrigue. I did enjoy the first two books. I have no excuse. It's it's happening. It will happen. This series, I don't know why I didn't finish it. Hence this video. Uh, Murderbots. I have read the first three books so far. I really enjoy the first one. They're like novellas. They're tiny, tiny books, uh, but I have yet to continue. I believe now the fifth book came out and I believe they're becoming bigger and bigger. Um, but yes, I've only read the first three books. I really enjoy the first one. The next two, like the, the second one was kind of eh. The third one was better. That's probably why I've been like forgetting to continue, but I totally want to uh, just because I really enjoyed the character Murderbot. It's just, it's, there's something else. Uh, basically, they hate humans, but they have to serve them because, you know, that's his job. And it's... <laughs> you just have to read it. It's a sci-fi. It's actually funny. I mean, depending on your humor, obviously. But I did enjoy it. I just need to continue. I feel like it's just because there are so many books. Eventually, you just get, you know, 
but it will happen. I need to. Another one that is definitely happening this year too is an absolutely re remarkable thing by Hank Green. The second book is A Beautifully Foolish and Devious is the second book. Um, it is a adult, I've been calling it kind of YA, but you know, new adult, whatever you want, sci-fi. It's first contact with aliens, but completely different. I feel like it's very accessible to contemporary readers because it happens very realistically in our world. And um, I just need to continue. It just came out, so really, it's not something that I've been pushing off for months and months and months, like... <laughs> But it needs to happen just because I'm really looking forward to reading it and letting you know if it's worth the read or not. So definitely need to finish slash continue the series. One more I'm really looking forward to reading is Truth Witch by Susan Denard. This is the first book. I believe the second one is Wind Witch. It's, it, it needs to happen. This is a YA fantasy series. I adore the magic system. It's super interesting. I really enjoyed the uh, friendship between the main two female characters, but for some reason I just never really continued. So it will happen. I just don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to enjoy it more. I feel like it's a super underrated series, says the person that only read the first one, but bear with me. Uh, yes, it definitely needs to happen just because I really enjoy books about witches. So um, I have a few that I'm a little bit on the fence. Actually, let me just finish the ones I did enjoy. Diviners by Libba Bright. This is a, is it considered why? I'm considering this why. Uh, it's like a paranormal kind of historical fiction, maybe fantasy book. Um, it happens in the 1920s and I actually listened to it as an audiobook and I will continue to do so just because I thought it was really well done. Great cast of characters, oh, narrators, uh, there was like music and it was like, it felt really great as an audiobook. It makes it a little less intimidating and it was just fun to listen to. Um, I believe the fourth book came out so I have a lot to catch up to but it's just not my usual stuff but I did really enjoy it and I do think it's a really easy to listen to uh, an easy audiobook to listen to and uh, it's really popular on booktube if you still haven't picked it up I definitely recommend you do so but yes definitely something I need to get around to continuing okay so uh, the ones I'm a little bit on the fence I have five <laughs> let's start with the most controversial one Red Rising by Pierce Brown um, I read the first book, I think in the beginning of book two, so like four years ago, and I just never continued because I feel like everyone loves this and I didn't really. I've been calling this a like Hunger Games, Game of Thrones mix on Mars. I feel like that's kind of accurate, at least for the first book. Um, I do have quite a few issues with it. It's, it literally starts with, um, the main male character sees, I think it's a girl he likes getting killed and that's how the whole story starts, which I hate that trope. And uh, I felt like it, it kind of got better, boring, better, boring throughout the whole book. And I just didn't care that much. Um, I do know that everyone seems to love it. So I do want to continue. I have the next two books on my shelf. So I will, and I want to, hence why it's in this video, but I just still haven't. But yeah, I think back in the day when I read it, I gave high ratings to like everything and I only gave it 3.5. So that says a lot. I feel like. <laughs> Next one I have is the song, uh, the, the Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This is a YA sci-fi. Uh, it is open world whenever someone does something bad, monsters are created and you're following two storyline between uh, one that is a monster and one that is a human. And I did like it, but I didn't love it. I do have the second book in the last book in this duology, um, but I'm kind of just, I feel like if I don't you know, make it a thing to finish it, I will not have finished it in five years, you know? So I do want to because I've enjoyed most of her books, but I still haven't. So I want to though. The Magicians by Lev Grossman. Um, a lot of people, when this came out, were calling this the adult Harry Potter. And then a bunch of people got very offended when this became a thing. Uh, I don't think it's an adult Harry Potter, but uh, it is a very dark, pessimistic, I learned to have magical powers and go to this magical school. Um, I do like the premise. I did feel like it just got kind of weird the second half and I just didn't really care as much. Um, I do still want to continue. I did watch a few episodes of the TV show but realized that part of it uh, was related already to book two so I stopped. And I do have the second book on my shelf so I will and I want to continue but I just still haven't just because it was too weird towards the end. So if you have read book two and or three, please let me know uh, if it gets better. I'm just on the fence, but I do want to just because again, magical powers. Death of Swords uh, by Michael J. Sullivan. I do have the next book on my shelf. This is a two in one edition. I believe the next one I have on my shelf is the next two. So like book three and four. Um, This is a 
classic old school adult fantasy, which means to me it kind of reads a little why slash that the targeted audience is younger men. Um, just because the jokes are kind of, and uh, every female character in the first <laughs> book is like a prostitute pretty much. Um, <laughs> why? Why? Uh, but the second book was so much better that that's why I still want to continue. If I had only read the first book, I would have never continued, but I wanted to finish this. This was part of my big book challenge, so I finished it, and the second one was really, really much better, and I've been told that it continues to improve, so I want to continue. I'm just a little bit on the funds just because I was a little eh overall with it, but I want to. Should I? You let me know. Last but not least, The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. This has to be one of my most controversial reviews on Goodreads. I get so much hate for that one and I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. I stand by what I said. Um, I do have book two and three on my shelves. I have bought all three used so I don't really care. Um, this is adult fantasy. Once again, why for younger men? Uh, I say that just because the kind of humor slash the people that are defending it <laughs> on my reviews. Uh, these people are very, very offended that I found it incredibly sexist, which sucks because the magic system is really, really interesting. It's based on color and um, it seemed the, there's like an intrigue too that seems interesting, like the ending. I'm like, ooh, I'm, I want to know. But I had so many issues with it because like every female character was described like physically. I can tell you which ones were the prettiest. Like, I can tell you which ones have the best boobs and nipples in order. Like it's just, you know, it gets too much. And like the jokes were pretty sexist. I didn't find them funny. And I feel like every time I would read one, it would just bring me out of the story. And I would just be like, Ugh, you know, like let's continue. But like it's making it annoying so I do want to continue I feel like if I do slash when I do because I really do want to continue I will have like post-its ready just to show you because I, I wish I had done that putting a post-it every time there's one of those things so you can see that it's not like one or two times you know it's the whole freaking book and it just ruins it for me so yes I do want to continue I will eventually I will most likely do a vlog about it just because I feel like you would like to see that but it just you know I will have to really focus on, you know, again, the magic system and the intrigue to make it worth it. But yes, I want to continue. But like reading about nipples and boobs and sex slaves that are totally normal and um, <laughs> insecure female characters that are supposed to be like a, you know, badass warrior that are so insecure about that or mainly shoulders and that is forced to like fight in a big battle in a skimpy dress that just unfortunately rips up to her butt. And like the main teenage male character motorboats her, like really, like ugh. it's been a few years and I'm still mad about it. So I do want to continue, but like you, you get kind of why I'm like ugh, about it, but I do, I do, I really do. This is it. These are the uh, 13 book series that I do want to continue. Please let me in the comment section between the ones I was hesitating, if you say yes, no, which ones I should put higher on my list. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting on the screen more videos that I recommend you check out and I shall see you in my next one very soon. Bye.